Today we're going to embroider on crochet. Hi, I'm Rosanna from Wara Crochet and in today's tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you step by step how you can embroider a lavender flower onto crochet. As per usual, there is a full written photo tutorial which can be found in the link down below and from there you can also access my other free patterns and crochet knowledge. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because every month I release a new free crochet pattern. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, we, you will need crochet fabric you would like to add your embroidery to, one meter of light green yarn, two meters of lilac yarn, scissors, and a tapestry needle. To make my fabric, I've used a three millimeter crochet hook with circular amigurumi yarn to make a moss stitch background. Insert your tapestry needle with the green yarn at the base as shown. Now insert the needle into the same stitch and push the needle back through the fabric at an angle as shown. Ensure the thread is wrapped around the needle and pull the thread slowly while holding onto the stitch. Insert the needle just above the loop to secure. Now your lazy daisy stitch is complete. Let's repeat that on the opposite side. Insert the tapestry needle into the base to create the second loop. And insert the needle into the same stitch, pushing the needle back through the fabric at an angle. Now ensure the thread is wrapped around the needle. And slowly pull the thread while holding onto the stitch. Insert the needle just above the loop to secure. Now your lazy daisy stitch is complete. Next we will add the stem. Insert the needle into the base as shown. And then reinsert your needle to the height you wish your stem to be. For mine, I'd like mine to be slightly higher than the two lavenders on either side. Now continue to make two more leaves with the Lazy Daisy Stitch.
If you need to adjust your leaves, slowly lift the stitches as shown. Now fasten off and weave in your ends. Now your stem and leaves are complete, let's add the flower head. To create the lavender head we will use a series of French knots. Insert the tapestry needle just above the stem slightly to the right. Now hold the thread with the left hand to secure as shown and wrap the thread three times around the needle. Insert the needle just beside the first stitch, keeping hold of the thread on the left hand. Slowly pull the needle through and as you reach the last few centimeters let go of the thread in your left hand and pull the thread through. Now your French knot stitch is complete. Next we will add another French knot just beside. Insert the tapestry needle next to the previous stitch. Hold the thread with the left hand to secure. Wrap the thread three times around the needle. Insert the needle just beside the first stitch, keeping hold of the thread in the left hand. Slowly pull the needle and thread through and let go of the thread with your left hand on the last few centimeters. Now your French knot is complete. Add a third French knot next to your previous two. Now your first row is complete. Add a few more rows of three French knots. For mine, I'm adding four rows in total. To complete our lavender, next we will add a row of two French knots in between the three of the previous row. For the final row, add a French knot at the tip as shown. Now your embroidered lavender is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!